one point is one dollar. So when they say 200 points, they mean the stock market was down $200. So whenever you're reading a news article about the stock market, or you might be watching the news, the newscaster might say something like, the stock market was down X amount of points. So for example, they might say the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones was down 200 points. One point is $1. So when they say 200 points, they mean the stock market was down $200. Now, that in itself doesn't tell me too much because the stock market always goes up and down. One thing that I like to do is I like to put it in perspective by looking at a larger time frame. One thing that I do, of course, is to come to this website, Financial Visualizations, finfis.com. And if you click on Futures, and then you click on the S&P 500. Now the S&P 500, of course, consists of the large, the 500 largest companies in the U.S. It's a great way to track what the economy is doing overall. Let me increase the date range to the maximum. So looking at a larger time frame and not just looking at it day by day because of course the market is always going to swing up and down you can see that of course in 2000 we had the dot-com bubble crash and then we had the housing market crash in 2008 so just quickly looking at the chart you can see in the 2000s the s p 500 was trading at its highest almost at 1600 points and then it dropped down all the way down to a little under 800 points, $800. And then we've been able to recover. And But then in 2008, the housing market crash, looking at how the S&P 500 was trading, you can see that it was almost close to 1,600 points again. But then it crashed all the way down to almost to 600 points this time. But ever since then, we've been able to pick up and the stock market did extremely well. There has been some turbulence, but comparing it to 2000 and 2008, we've increased tremendously.